Hey guys, Kim here and you are tuned back into my YouTube channel, Kim E, the Diabetes NP. And today we're going to talk about the drug class, now bear with me, thiazolidinediones. We tend to call them the glitazones or TZDs because that is definitely a tongue tie. I'm actually impressed with myself that I was able to say that. Um, but anywho, this drug class includes the medicine Actose or pioglitazone. And so if you're interested in learning about TZDs, stay tuned. We're going to get into it. Okay, let's get into a little bit of the overview of TZDs, okay? So this is a common drug. We know this drug, guys. We've seen this drug. We've seen our Actose, which is pioglitazone, and we've probably even seen Avandia, which is rosiglitazone, but you've probably noticed that you haven't seen rosiglitazone because it's actually not a good drug anymore <laughs> and I've had some mixed literature I've seen that it's been taken off the market um, and I've seen that it has high restrictions to a point where people feel like it's off the market but in this drug class the drug that you're going to see is your pioglitazone that is the drug that we're going to see in the TZD um, drug class so it's very inexpensive it's very common and just like your sulfonylureas the reason why I, I am going over this drug class is not because it's the most effective, but it is common and it's inexpensive. And when it comes to managing our patients, we will know what's a better drug, but what can our patients afford? This drug is affordable, okay? Now, something else about this medicine, in and of itself, it's not going to cause hypoglycemia, but you tend to see that when it is paired with insulin or sulfonylureas that you are more at risk to have hypoglycemia in your patients. So keep that in mind, okay? All right, little bit of mechanism of action because though I don't want to get off into the particulars and go in depth, I do think that it is a good idea for us to know the mechanism of action so we can know what areas of the body that these medications affect. Because one of the things that you're going to notice as we're continuing to move through these drug classes is that these different drug classes work on different organs and different body systems, okay? So in a nutshell, TZDs activate PPAR gamma, which alters the transcription of genes that are responsible for breaking down carbs and fats, lip, lipids, okay? So keep that in mind, okay? Why is this important? Well, carb and lipid metabolism, the breaking down of these molecules, if it's broken down, the body is able to use it more. And we know that glucose is a high energy source. It's actually what the body craves our brain craves glucose as in, as an energy source our muscles so the goal is to get the glucose broken down and into the cells so it can be used as energy so by product of this now because that glucose those lipids are now broken down insulin is now able to be registered better okay so this is where you get the insulin sensitivity the insulin sensitizers something else to keep in mind about this drug class lastly is that it affects your lipids okay there is no known reason why but it works favorably in lipids and managing cholesterol also just like metformin it restores ovulation to the person who is a ovulatory okay now something I want to talk about that I really have not spoken about in past drug classes um, is the dosing okay now something to keep in mind with this drug class it's gonna take a high amount of time for this drug to have maximum effect okay and you're looking at about 8 to 12 weeks okay so this is a good time to educate your patients that if they're taking their blood sugar and it's still high that it's gonna take a couple of months if not a little bit more for them to actually see you know positive results and that's something for you to keep in mind as well that you're really going to have to start them on this medication and see them back in about three months okay now with that being said 
the recommendation for titration as we're titrating our pa patients up on this medication. Do not do it no earlier than four weeks, okay? Wait four weeks before you titrate this medicine up because of what I just stated, all right? Huge precautions and contraindications with this drug class. Now, like I mentioned earlier, the other drug in this class, rosiglitazone, which is Avandia, is pretty much so high risk where you're not going to see it. There's even been talk, I mean, like I said, I've sent, I saw conflicting um, education literature, but it said that it's taken off the market because of the high risk, okay? Now, Actos is more favorable, but it does come with a lot of side effects, a lot of precautions, and just flat out contraindication. Here are the big ones. It will cause fluid retention, edema, and weight gain, especially used with insulin, okay? Now, because of this, this predisposes people to congestive heart failure if they have had a history with it or even if they haven't had a history with it. Now, since we're talking about congestive heart failure, this drug class is contraindicated in people that are class three or class four of heart failure. It's also contraindicated in those who have liver disease. So you're having to definitely, with this drug class, check your liver function test, okay? You're going to have to be doing your liver studies with this test, okay? Because this drug class is contraindicated in anyone who has active liver disease, it's obvious that if this person starts to develop jaundice, you need to discontinue it. I mean, no questions asked, okay? Something else you need to keep in mind, TZDs put people at risk for increased fractures, okay? So, just using a little common sense, if you have a patient who has osteoporosis or part of a class, uh, part of a group of people who are at risk for osteoporosis, this is not the drug class for them. And lastly, Actos, pioglitazone, puts people at risk for bladder cancer. So guys, after going through all of that, I don't know about you guys, but let me reiterate. This drug class is still on the market, okay? We still use it, okay? There is benefit to this drug class, but as you can see, it comes with a lot of high risk. It comes with a lot of precautions and contraindications. So if you are using this drug class, you need to be on high alert as you monitor your patients, okay? Okay, so here is a little pal, pearl of wisdom that you can give your patients as you're educating them. Remember, this medication is going to take a while for it to reach its max effect. You need to let your patients know that, especially if they are monitoring their blood sugar. They need to know that it's going to take a little bit for them to actually see some type of results from this drug class. Also, because we're really being cautious about heart failure and precipitating heart failure, you need to educate your patients on the signs of an exacerbation of this. So that would be shortness of breath, that would be swelling, that would be headache, that would be fatigue. Go over these symptoms with them. Um, and there's more, I'm pretty sure. I can't think of any off the top of my dome, but you want to educate them over that. If they start to have these symptoms, they need to come in and they need to consult with you immediately, okay? And then lastly, because this medicine restores ovulation, you need to talk to the women who are still at childbearing years that this could actually increase their chances of getting pregnant. Okay, guys, we have just gone over glitazones. I'm not going to even try to say the name again because I feel like I'm going to butcher it. But the TZDs, where we talked mainly about pioglitazone, which is Actos. I hope this video was very helpful for you guys. And do me a favor. If you are liking these videos, there's a couple of things that I want you to do. First, if you're watching me on your desktop, there's a little button right over here. Go ahead and subscribe. Click that button and subscribe. If you're watching on your phone, go scroll down a little bit. There's a little button that says subscribe. Push that button and also ding that notification bell so you do not miss an upload from me. And 
If this is beneficial to you, I'm sure you can think of a nurse practitioner that this will be useful for as well. Please share. Sharing is caring. <laughs> Anyways, you've been sitting here with Kim, your host, and you've been watching Kim E, the Diabetes MP, and I'll catch you next video. Bye.